In a recent video, I talked about how listening to classical music can have some really positive effects on the brain. Well, we're going to go just a little bit farther into that tonight. But before I do, let's tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. You can still connect with us and we might still be able to help you. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can schedule a consultation. Or if you're not quite ready for that step, you can take a, a quiz or you can also just read some of the things that we have on that website. Now, let's go just a little bit farther into how can classical music actually help the brain and why would we be using it in our clinic? So there are several different times that we can use it. One is for a patient who has traumatic brain injury, it certainly is very useful, but two can also be really beneficial for someone who's had a stroke. We don't really tend to always think about that as a traumatic brain injury, but it really is. And honestly, classical music can be listened to by anybody, but let's be even more specific and discuss where in the program for us we use it and why it can be extra helpful at that time. So for us, using it during syntonics where the patient is neurologically stimulating the brain with a specific protocol that I've developed dependent upon whatever their case is or whatever their diagnosis is. So during the time that they're wearing their neurological stimulating filters, then if they're also listening to classical music, the neurological stimulating filters, depending upon which one they're on, is doing something specific in the brain. So whether I have them on a blue lens that might be stimulating their entire brain or whether they're on a red lens that might be balancing their sympathetic to parasympathetic nervous system, then it just depends where the classical music is going to be affecting things. But let's talk about maybe that brain stimulating blue filter. What would happen during that time is that as the brain is normally just stimulating all over the place using that blue filter and neurons are firing all over, classical music actually tends to cause that to be ramped up even more. So that would mean hmm, a greater impact maybe of stimulating the brain. Why would that be beneficial? Well, in the case of someone who's had a stroke and lost their vision, if the stroke occurred on a specific area of the brain, well, they need to have that area of the brain stimulated again because basic blood flow and the neuron connections causing some firing of a, like electrical connections in that area may have stopped at the time of the stroke. That's usually what that means. Typically stops and even sometimes will doctors say, doctors will say that the tissue in that area died off. Well, if we're using this blue filter that stimulates all of this neuron activity to occur in that area of the brain again and increases blood flow and they listen to classical music at the exact same time, that's more like a double, two, three, triple punch to the area in turning it back on to process information again. Would it be helpful then if the visual system, which processes through kind of like this part of the brain back and wraps around on both sides, if that was affected by a stroke back in here? Absolutely, because classical music, again, fires off a lot of different areas within the brain electrically. And in combination with the neurological stimulating filters that we are using, that's again, a specific protocol we developed, I developed, to be able to use for patients who've had traumatic brain injury or a stroke or whatever their visual case might be then it's just like a compounding type of effect and it's even better. And so during syntonics is definitely a time. Another time is, is that whenever they're doing their uh, visual therapy activities that we assign for them to do at home, if they're listening to classical music at that time, you know, that's just another thing that is, again, a compounding positive benefit or effect. So there are many times you can see, even in the office, we can use it that using classical music could be beneficial, not only to patients who've had strokes, traumatic brain injury, also for patients who have maybe um, autism, cerebral palsy, ADHD, I could list all kinds of things in there. So if you want to just make it across the board, it would help everybody. So if you're not doing it, you might want to tune into some classical music as you're doing things. Maybe you're crunching numbers for a test or finances, or maybe you're 
finishing some sort of report or writing out something. And you really need to be thinking clearly. Low level classical music in the background can actually stimulate your brain to think more clearly and process better. Try it out, see what happens, see if you actually notice a difference in that. It might increase your reading speed as well. Now for more information about how to work with us, and if you're local, give us a call at 618-288-1489 if you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and schedule a consultation. If you like this video, hit the like button. Definitely make sure you've subscribed, and as always, if you think it's beneficial, please pass it on. Thank you.